down the photography GCSE course content for you. This will explain what our talented photography students have studied here at Crossy Kyle York School. For year nine, this is a new subject and hopefully wish to inspire. The GCSE qualification is awarded to students completing two units of work. Unit one is coursework and is started at the beginning of year 10 and completed at Christmas time in year 11. The photography course comes is delivered throughout. The course is designed to give students the opportunity to explore a wide range of new photography skills. This allows each student to decide what their strengths are and to have a choice to focus on these particular skills in year 11. This allows each student to create a more bespoke portfolio of their own choices. Students will create a course of portfolio of sketchbooks and outcomes and as you can see this equates to 60% of their final grade. Unit 2 is the WJC externally set exam project. This is presented to students in January as an exam paper. They have to choose a question and produce a project. It is completed in April for marking and the moderating by the WJC exam board. There are four areas of assessment, AO 1, 2, 3 and 4, and these will be familiar to our Key Stage 3 students. The following slides, you'll be able to see samples of work created. So we'll look at AO 1 first, developing ideas through investigating other artists' work. As you can see here, the students explored about their opinions about their other photography's work in their sketchbook and also through Google Classroom. It's an opportunity to find out other artists are working uh, and to inspire their own work. AO2 is all about creative making and developing ideas through experimentation with different photographic skills and techniques. As you can see, there are samples of outcomes and work done in sketchbooks. AO3 is all about recording your ideas. And obviously for photography students, the majority of this will be done through taking photographs. It can be done by annotating your work, explaining your ideas, discussing how your ideas develop from start to finish. There's also elements of drawing, for instance, a storyboard to suggest how you do your photographs. Explaining ideas of how they develop and talking about your ideas through um, your photographs. Using key language to explain your ideas. AO4, this is realising your ideas through a final outcome. And this could be in the way of a final photograph, or even indeed more creative, using a photograph on top of something to create an unusual outcome. These could even be in the form of sculptures, graphic outcomes, or photographs in their own right. All of our GCSE pupils will complete sketchbooks, as well as Google Classroom documents. They're an integral part of gaining marks for all of the assessment areas. Outcomes are final photographic compositions, such as the ones you saw on the previous slides. These could be sculptures, photographs in their own right, edited photos, graphic outcomes, and even t-shirts. We think it's vital to expand students' knowledge and appreciation of art by seeing work of artists in the flesh, so to speak, and we hope to continue to offer gallery visits to our students to places like London, Liverpool, Manchester, and even locally in Cumbran and Cardiff, where we can see lots of artists and photographers work. <coughs> you will need certain equipment to do CSE. You can't just rely on your phone. You do need a camera to, uh, to take good quality photographs. Students often ask us, what can I do with my arts, my skills in, in art and photography? I'm sure you will agree that everything surrounding us in the modern world has a creative process. And each of our photography students will gain skills to follow into these areas of art careers. Should you have any further questions, please contact myself uh, in the Art Department of Crossy Kyle York School if you have any further questions. Thank you for listening.